Morning, everyone. Yesterday was fantastic. Spent the afternoon fishing. Got to eat fresh fish for supper again. That was amazing with the, with the vegetables. Oh, we got to do that again. It's amazing what a difference a little bit of butter will make. Oh. We uh, sat by the fire a bit last night and uh, went to bed about 10 o'clock. Nice and early. Fantastic night's sleep. Plan for today. We're going to uh, head back into town and resupply. And then come back and have a nice, easy dinner, probably some sausages or some hot dogs or something. Not as much fog this morning, and the sun's out. Sky's nice and blue. Past few days we've been getting up, and the sky's been gray until noon or one or something like that, and then the sun would come out. But this morning, the sun's up. I woke up last night; it was too bright because the, the moon was shining right into my hammock. But it was a beautiful night. I got up this morning. It was just a little cool. Threw an extra shirt on. We're all good. We may stop by Wilderness Supply just to give them a big thanks for pointing us in this direction because this place is awesome. Oh, it's gorgeous here. And I haven't had to paddle to shore for firewood yet. There's lots of dead stuff around here. Which is perfect. But so far, it's an amazing trip. We are loving it out here. Last night, we showed you that we were dipping the, uh, the cattails in the, uh, the leftover cooking oil. Right now, what I'm doing, I created, I put a hole here. A hole here. I'm going to knock one more hole here. I'm going to test it with just a regular cattail. Yeah, it stands perfectly. So what I'm going to do, we have three brown cattails in there. We have one that's, uh, it's like this one, it's a dried one, just to see the difference. So I'm gonna put one with the oil in this one, one with the oil in this one, and one with the oil in this one. These two I will try and light with a lighter. The last one, I will try and light it with my ferro rod to see if it works. It's something that... Anne remembers her father doing this when they were younger. He used to bring the cattails home, dry them, soak them in lamp oil or whatever. She doesn't remember. But we decided we were going to try it with the leftover fish oil from cooking the fish yesterday. Ah, it's an experiment. Something to do when we're out here in the woods. So we'll bring you back later when it's dark and we'll see what happens. 10 to 9. It's going to be really dark in about an hour. But it's cloudy tonight, 
so it might get darker sooner. So we want to get this done while we can still see what we're doing. So here's that can of cattails. They're still dripping with oil. So we're going to put one here. And then right beside it, uh, this is the one that was really dry. Now it's dark again because it's soaked up all that oil. Wow. And then I said I wanted to put one over here to try it with the ferro rod. But what I think I'll do is try it with the ferro, try that one with the ferro rod first. And if it doesn't work, I'll pull out my lighter. Okay, so that one won't take a spark. Neither will the old one. So we'll have to use the lighter. I can hear it sizzle, but it's not lighting. Okay, so I broke up a bit of fibers on that one, and that one's lit. So let me see if I can separate a little bit of the fresh one, open it up a little. So it works with the one that was already dry. With the wet ones, I probably would have had to dry them first. But let's see if we can give the wet one a little bit of a boost. Nope, even holding it over the fire. Oh, maybe. Nope, nope, it won't stay lit.
So now we know if we dry it first, it works beautifully. Wet ones will not. So we'll get rid of the evidence in the fire. That one, we'll keep an eye on it. And Anne just said, like, that's what her dad told her. He would dry them. So now we know. If they're dry ahead of time, take an oil, any oil, it'll work. Even used fish oil. <laughs> We'd like to give a shout out to Richard for his idea that he taught Anne and, and kind of makeshift told me and we tried to figure out a way to make it work out here. <laughs> we got it working. So the only one that lit and stayed lit was the dry one. But it burnt and fell off the stick. It's on the ground now, but it's still going. Won't work as a torch like we thought it would, but it's still going. So at the 10 minute mark, it fell off the stem. At the 20 minute mark, it's still burning. So 25 minutes and it has finally gone out. Not bad for just canola oil that you use to cook fish. Morning, everyone. We ran into town for supplies yesterday, and we're getting low on coffee, but they didn't have the uh, our normal brand. So this morning, we're getting McDonald's coffee. <sighs> yeah, and of course, I tore the bag. Okay. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using the stove instead of the fire, well, I knew this was going to be an extended trip. It's starting to rain. Yes, it is. All right. Give me a second. We got to move. As I was saying, we're getting McDonald's coffee this morning. I got everything moved. The rain just stopped. All right. Well, in that case, let's go back out there so I can sleep. I guess it's going to be that kind of day. When uh, we went into town yesterday, I checked the weather network, see what they were calling for today. And uh, it was supposed to be light rain, nothing too heavy, but more showers, a bit here and a bit there. But when I got up, the sun's right there. I mean, clouds are breaking up. They break up, they close in, they break up, they close in like they've been doing all week that we've been here. Oh well. When they get to test out the tarps and make sure it 
keeps us dry. And the reason why I'm using the stove instead of the fire, I knew it was going to be an extended trip. And I knew we'd be packing and unpacking and packing and unpacking and packing and unpacking. And I didn't want to get soot all over the pot so that I didn't get all the rest of the gear covered in soot. We're in town running our errands. We stopped in at Wilderness Supply. Went to say hi to uh, Ben and Stephanie. Gave them a big personal thanks for leading us to this spot. This was amazing. The other day I uh, went for a ride in the canoe and when I got back I stepped out of the canoe and the whole sole let go on my sandals. So I gorilla taped it back together again and that's what I've been wearing most of the week. So while we were there I bought a new pair of water shoes. At least I don't have to wear the gorilla tape shoes anymore. It's a fantastic store. They've got quite a bit of stuff in there. Very friendly and knowledgeable people. I'll definitely be stopping in there whenever I'm in this area. As for the rest of the day, well, we got back, we uh, cleaned out the cooler, we had brought more ice, so we put new ice in the cooler and rearranged everything. Nothing uh, too exciting. The plan today is try and catch some fish, have one more big feast of fish. And then sleep here tonight, pack up in the morning, start heading for home again. If it pours all day, we'll uh, sit under the tarp, read our books. If I, uh, if I have to cook, I still have my flat pack grill with us. It's underneath my hammock. And yesterday I found a little bit of uh, hardwood about the size of my thumb. But it was a long piece, so I cut it up into sections. So worst comes to worst, I can set up the little flat pack grill just outside the tarp there and Make a little fire in there and cook dinner on that. We have to wait and see what the day brings. Let's see what this coffee brings. That was good. Hmm. Yep. Oh. Okay, Rain, give me at least a half hour to just sit here and enjoy this coffee. So this is the side of the island that we are facing. We're catching a little bit of rain right now.
This is the backside of the island. That big black cloud. So that's Thunder. We have been camping now for nine days. It's been beautiful weather up until now, but this evening we're getting the rain. We are nice and dry. We are inside our little cocoon here. There's Sandy. He's also capturing it. Here's Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Hi, baby. Yeah. So, we are good. Everything's good. It's the other side of the island. Bring you back around. Oh, Lucy. Oh, Lucy just spilled Tandy's beer. She does this. If there's liquid around, yeah, she'll tip it over. So the rain has picked up. But we're nice and dry under the tarps. As you can see, it's raining quite well. The thunder is pretty much a constant. It was behind us. Now it seems like it's shifting and it's coming right over us. Well, then any luck, it stopped soon because I kind of like to cook the fish for dinner. <laughs> Seemed like it was going to stop a couple of minutes ago and then all of a sudden moved over a little bit and the rain picked up again. But we've had nine days of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been a great trip so far. This is the first real rain we've had. Storm's over. Sun's out again. Morning, everyone. Yesterday, Anne decided she wanted a bit of time to read her book and relax a little bit. So she spent the afternoon doing that, and I hopped in the canoe and went and did some fishing. I ended up, I caught 14 pike. I kept five. Some of them were too small. But I kept five. We had enough for supper last night. And we have a bit of leftovers for lunch this afternoon before we leave. After I got back, we were sitting around and we could hear thunder. So we took a few pictures and got just a little bit of video. But the storm was actually passing behind this island further back. We just watched it go by. When the rain hit, it was, we were catching just the side of it a little bit. So it wasn't too bad. We went and sat underneath the tarps. We were nice and dry under there. Everything was great. It was a fantastic day. Fish was delicious. About uh, 12.30. Massive storm. 
right on top of us. I woke up, I looked out of my hammock, and I could see the tarp was sagged in one spot. <clears throat> so I hopped out of bed, pushed that up. We were still relatively okay, but the wind was always coming from this side of the island. So I had closed up that end of the tarp and left this tarp open so that we'd have a place to sit to be able to watch around and what was going on because the rain's going to be driving this way. No big deal. We didn't change directions. That storm hit. Rain was coming in this way. The, uh, my hammock, the underquilt got sprayed just a little bit. It's not dripping wet. It just got sprayed a little bit. And the very foot end of my hammock got just a light sprinkling. It was damp. It wasn't wet. It was damp. And it's not the whole hammock. It was just at that one spot. So I stayed dry. I stayed warm all night. And must be dry because she's still sleeping. But her hammock as well. The underquilt got a little bit of a sprinkle, but I didn't look at the hammock because she's still sleeping in it. But because the wind was driving this way, I had another tarp. But at this point, it's 1230. It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. All I've got is my little headlamp. And I've got to stop the rain from coming sideways. So I just created a wall with that tarp. It, uh, it wasn't perfect, but it slowed a lot of it down. The wind picked up and it got really windy. And my first thought was, uh-oh, we're on an island. My canoe only weighs 25 pounds. I had just pulled it up on shore and flipped it upside down and called it good. So I ran out into the rain, pulled the canoe up a little higher on shore, and I grabbed the rope and tied it to a tree. Luckily, I had a dry towel under the tarp so that I was able to dry off before crawling into the hammock. But by the time I dried off and crawled back into the hammock, the wind had already died down. The storm had passed, the thunder and lightning was back that way. And then it was just a light rain for a while. But when it came down hard, it came down hard. It's also why I'm sitting on the cooler this morning. The chairs were just under the edge of the tarp and they got a little damp. I'm trying to dry out the chairs. And the stuff that we had underneath our hammocks, whatever was further to that end is fine. My backpack was at this end and it's, it's damp. It's not wet. It's a little damp. But our shoes were wet. So I've got my shoes on the back of the fireplace trying to dry. And her shoes there. I'm wearing my water shoes right now. It was still a great day. Fantastic night. We survived it. We're dry. We're good. We're going to pack up later and head for home. So this is us. All packed up, ready to go. Been a fantastic holiday. Thanks for all joining us. Always a pleasure having you along. And if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. If you're going to do that, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we put out a new video. See you on the next one.